Everspace by Rockfish Games has had like a bit of a journey from its early access release on PC to its full release to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and now it's on Nintendo Switch and I think its gameplay definitely suits the system um, controls take a little bit of getting used to which I'll get to in a moment um, and visually it looks pretty good but it's not the best looking space shooter out there on the system so if you're not sure whatever space is it is essentially a roguelike six degrees of freedom shooter where you're in space where you will go from sector to sector collecting resources defeating enemies and ping picking up stuff like fuel which you need to to jump to new areas picking up uh, items to craft new abilities or weapon parts you'll find throughout the world and it's all about getting the best build for your ship as you go along and making it as far as you can through the game and that's par for the course for these types of games but the fact that this is a space shooter makes it stand out a little bit more and i think the visuals do help I, like i said there is a better looking game a space shooter game but it's not as fully featured um, as Everspace and I think there's so much about Everspace that stands out to feel and be unique um, but the one downside I really had with the game um, at least in the initial stages was the control so because of the way you have to throttle up and down as well as move up and down left and right and tilt and shift the, the forward and the back is all on the two left shoulder buttons and then the 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 main weapon there's two weapons you can choose between shoot any one time which is usually more like a laser or a machine gun gun type thing and then the rockets let's say um, and they're done with the two right analog or the two shot the right two shoulder buttons um, and for whatever reason in my brain I just it took a little bit of time to understand the movements and shooting at the same time which I guess it's kind of standard for these types of games, but it took a little bit of time, especially on the Nintendo Switch. It just it didn't click for me for the bit, so I just thought it was worth mentioning. Maybe someone else will have this issue. Maybe it was an isolated incident with myself, but still. And um, throughout the game, you will find new uh, weapons, and you will see they're all stat based. So you'll see their rate of fire, the damage per second, what they do, what they're good against. Like so, you have you usually have a pulse laser, which is good for taking down enemies' shields. And then you have more of like a machine gun, which is like bullets, which will penetrate through enemies. Uh, you do not need to fight pretty much anyone uh, going through the main sectors. The main thing is, is getting to the end and warping to the next sector, I should say. There's areas and then there's sectors. Um, the thing about it is, is, if you just keep skipping through, you won't get better weapons. You won't get these items which are used to upgrade your ship. You won't get money, which is then used to improve many aspects of your ship every time you die you can you go back to the start obviously but you can also um, upgrade many aspects from criticals to how much you can hold to your health to your hull and basically as you do this you will get stronger and stronger so you're not expected to beat the game in your first run or even your fifth run and um, it's an iterative process and it's just a ton of fun because of the Nintendo Switch as well a run could only be 10-15 minutes so it is a great pick up and play game and you don't feel like progress is lost because every time you pick up money or items you are constantly improving your ship and as you go you'll be able to unlock different ships to better suit your playstyle um, and yeah I, I, I don't know if I've covered everything really in this video but I just think for Nintendo Switch is a pretty fun space shooter that does have some performance issues it doesn't look it looks i think it looks good and um, it doesn't look the best of its kind but i think it looks really good but there is some performance issues especially when things get crazy especially when a lot of alpha effects on the screen um but there's something with this game i keep i keep coming back to and i love coming back to it i've put in a number of hours on pc i put a number of hours in on xbox one and now i was happy enough to go back on the switch and play through it again and I can't quite put my finger on what it is about it that I enjoy. I think maybe part of it is the art style. I think the Unreal Engine is just a stunning engine for sci-fi stuff for some reason. Um, I think it looks. I think it does look good. I think the art style is great. Um, and it's just so much fun, fun flying around and never knowing what 
sometimes like how different the next area can look um and just exploring space is just enjoyable but if you're into this game what you see here is something that you're interested in i'd say go get it i may not have been the best going through this or explaining things the way you'd probably want to expect it to um pretty much because i can't put my finger on why i like it it could be that it's just a good shooter that's fun that's procedural and it's also iterative so you're always improving i like that sense of progress and there's plenty of challenges for each run and all that there's a lot to do it's a lot of fun it's enjoyable if you like what you see go buy it